doesn't even matter in regards to scaling. Kakadu looking like an entirely different beast right now against Angry Bird. Can yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> We're gonna set up with the neutral, sorry, the forward jump at the same time. Oh boy! Cricket bat. Oh, the cricket bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's the exact same swing. Level three coming in. A little bit of that drive gauge back. Put Kakadu on edge just a little bit close to burnout, but can't afford to be predictable. Oh, choice. Jeez. The jump in is there to punish the fireball. He gets to spend a little bit more as well. Three. Building to level three, you already know. Okay, just in case I pause, just in case he happened to drop yeah. it. There's, there's gonna be a thing, man. That is Kakadu, two rounds straight and two games over Angry Bird. Since we saw him drop the level three in the first set, anything's possible, right? Right. right. We're not counting any chickens, and there's a lot of chickens to count at the end of this set. Let me tell you. Here we go. Set game for Kakadu, looking to become the gamers eight Street Fighter six champion out of loser's sight. Oh the boy. Is reacted to from Angry Bird, and we're gonna be going towards the corner with this enhanced tattoo. There's again, the, stagger the stagger again, counter hitting him, but the perfect Damn. parry is gonna give Kakaroo the stage again. EX Portal. The defensive options on the wake up too have been giving Angry Bird a very, very hard time. He's not been able to predict co correctly what it is that Kakaroo wants to do, whether it's a perfect parry or the amnesia, movement. Very notable very as well after that held parry that Angry Bird didn't do anything because he's been getting counter hit after uh, these prolonged parries quite frequently. The stag, oh, I gotta say, man, him committing to the target combo for the frame trap was brilliant. Let's get the goon squad set up. That's one departure. Set up again. Has to hold that. Oh, and the parry was baited out. And it is set point to Kakaru. And it's looking to be a clean sweep in this grand finals. I cannot believe this turn of events. Not like this. All of the fantasy brackets. Let's see it. who had Kakaru as taking it down as champ. It's not quite over yet. OD, uppercut, get off of me. Puts this himself in burnout, though. Oh, beautifully oh, done, oh, Angry Bird. Oh, I don't know what that was. We let it rock here? Okay, I guess so. That's right, it's inevitable something. There is an inevitable death rule, but uh, you know, not even close to that just yet. Dragon Lash, the uppercut. Angry Bird fighting for survival here. And that is it. He has defended the first set point here. One more to go. It's still set point Kakaru. Oh, no, too far out, yo, Kakadu. Just at the right spot, at the right time for the whip punish against the misplaced Dragon Lash. Set up the departure, walk him down a little bit. And yeah, testing his reactions. He still has the parry. Angry Bird is looking to fight his way out of the corner. Step by step, block by block. The drive rush is there, but still, so How is the perfect parry. How did he, he is ready. ready. Then? He is too ready. That was in the middle of a combo. I can't believe how ready and how good Kakaru is at these parries. So many perfect parries. Unbelievable. A single hit for Kakaru could spell the end of Angry Bird. We're getting closer and closer to it. Little touch. Oh, and that is it. Kakaru has managed to turn this round and close out the grand finals. 3-0, and there is way more than three zeros on his prize. He has claimed the $400 thousand dollars for first place look at him sitting back in his chair it hasn't sunk in yet life-changing events here today in Riyadh at the boulevard at gamers 8 Kakaru he can barely walk in a straight line after that draining performance yeah. these two competitors what a fantastic grand finals and Kakaru stands atop he can barely believe it look at this man an emotionally draining experience no physically doubt. draining no doubt putting his heart and soul into that performance truly deserving of that trophy and how often do you really see that kind of comeback happen from the loser's side right especially playing killer after killer being one of the killers yourselves obviously but also having a face off against the guy that puts you into losers immaculate performance from Kakaru.
and just like that, we officially have our Gamers A champion, Kalkado! <laughs> Kalkado, I've yet to see this expression on your face. I have to start out by asking you, what are you feeling right now after winning the biggest tournament in Street Fighter history as far as prize? we have never seen someone use the perfect parry to that level ever throughout Street Fighter 6 up to this point. We did not even know that that was possible. The fact that you went with that strategy, I don't even want to call it a strategy, that you had that skill. We have never seen that. Why didn't you do it earlier in the tournament? Were you saving it for grand finals? So, no, no, play style or I'm a mother more on a meet a cut on nine. This now I'm kind of kind of it's more on a perfect party. Come back in. Yeah, done this kid. I'm all I'm a mother. Nice on a cut to go. Yeah, I'm a cut on this guy. Those the I'm a the kid at home on this guy. Yeah, hold on. So no. How can I. Go to stay on a tie. So do no guy. It's my in cut on this kid. Well, the others, the other things weren't working before. I didn't know, like, you know, what, how to go around it. So, like, this time I just, you know, tried to do it. Like, you know, did my best to just make it every single time, and well, it worked. فعلاً تكلوا اللي سواه كان مستحيل في المباراة ما قد شفنا بيرفكت باري يصير زي كذا في المباريات فسألنا قلنا ليش كنت مخبي من المرات الماضية ليش تونا نشوفها في النهائيات وقال بكل صراحة ما كان يتوقع أنها كانت تضبط وجرب استراتيجيات مختلفة وأنهزم قبل منا من أنجريبد فرجع مرة ثانية الحين في النهائيات قال بجرب استراتيجية مختلفة وال بيرفكت باري ضبطت معه وقدر يفوز. كاكرو you just won four hundred thousand dollars absolutely life-changing money what are you going to do with it my ma i know you're on your mind or cut on this girl the more on tony i know you're not your color i know okay that i'm on this girl the more kono kano do ya that's called to my mask uh to when i got even did not consider the natural more it's gonna in this kid oh like i know ma mazu so no お世話になっているイブシ銀、僕のチームのイブシ銀に結構そのなんだろう恩返しできたのかなっていうところで、あとなんかなんかお世話になった人になんかお返しできたらなっていうふうに思います。Well, I have been thinking about it as a Soviet, but first of all, I would like to maybe use it somehow to thank my team, イブシ銀 that really supported me along the way, and all the other people. Like use this money somehow to thank all the people that helped me along 